Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Florian Schipper. I'm one of the Panda Power developers. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Panda Power and the Panda data frames to find information in the grids you calculated, which you want to get out fast. So for this, we're going to start again with a, a grid we're going to load. So we have a look at our documentation under networks and we choose this time the MV Oberrhein grid, which is a real grid or a close synthetic real grid. It has a lot of buses, a lot of lines between them. And the thing is, if you uh, would do like last time and calculate the power flows for this grid. So if you import Panda power, and import pandapower.networks and then load this grid uh, with this command and then you print for example net.bus you will see that since this grid contains a lot of buses there is a lot of information to be seen and if you want to get out some results fast after a power flow calculation like this so if you calculate the power flows and then you print the result table and you have a look at it you will notice that there are many buses and if you want to know for example which bus has the highest voltage you will get lost if you just look at this by scrolling through so here comes the big advantage we have with the python and uh, the pandas data frames we can simply do something like net.resbus.max uh, or let's say vmpu.max and then we have the highest voltage we can print that and then if you do this you will see which bus has the highest or which is the highest voltage in this grid and if you want to say see for example uh highest if you want to see the highest ones so each bus which has the highest uh, voltage or the the ones with the highest voltages you do net dot rest bus dot location and then you can check for net dot res bus we am the uh, voltage in per unit which is greater than for example 1.2 and then you print the highest ones and what you see is the five buses which have voltages higher than 1.02 uh, uh, this can be done, of course, not just for the buses, but also for the lines. So if you do net.resline uh, at the location, net resline loading percent, which is, let's say, greater than uh, 50%, you will get all lines which have loadings higher than those 50%. So what you see is that a lot of lines have uh, loadings higher than 50%. And this is, I think, one of the main advantages you have compared to commercial software that you can get information fast without having to click on every element. So thank you for watching and have a good day. Goodbye.